Hello everyone, we will be turning a 2D pattern into 3D uh, without doing all the hard work of modeling the pattern. If we have the 2D art, we can turn it into 3D. So we will be using the FVG format. So I will go to this website it's called Free FVG. I will show you this pattern as an example. All right, so we can download the SVG. We also have the option to download as a PNG, small or large, but SVG is what we want. So I have downloaded it already. So go ahead and download it. And going back to Blender. So this is a new scene. And before I do anything, make sure you go to preferences go to add-ons and you can type SVG and make sure you have check this checkbox to install it okay now we can go ahead and file import and select this SVG format scalable vector graphics all right and now I can browse I will open the one I saved it click import and it has been imported as a curve so there it is select and i'll press tilde and view selected there it is so i'll go to my top view as you can see it has imported it perfectly so right now this is in a curve format so what i will do is right click and convert this to a mesh and the symbol has changed it has been converted to a mesh if i press tab you can see a lot of vertices and now i can go ahead and as a safe measure select all all of the vertices are selected press m for merge and select by distance all right at the moment zero vertices removed means this is already clean good so now while everything is selected i can press e to extrude and i can just give the depth how much i can give the depth as much i want so let's say this much is enough press tab and let's go to the materials tab and i'll remove this and i'll add my own and let's give a gold finish something gold and let's give increase the metallic and reduce the roughness and let's turn on the material preview press z select material preview now you can see let me rotate this in around the x-axis i can type in 90 okay so now you can see how easily i've turned the 2d pattern into a 3d all right and if it is a tileable pattern we can easily uh, tile it without doing the hard work so <clears throat> let's continue and use this technique to show one more pattern as an example okay okay so here is another pattern i will use this as an example and this is a tileable pattern all right so go ahead and download this i have already downloaded it i'll come back to my blender okay now i will go to my top view file import and select dot svg uh, browse and then let me import it aha so it has been imported and very nice and clean let me move this out of the way bit over here and rotate it along the x press 90 
all right and now we will repeat the same process at the moment it is a curve let's right click and convert this to a mesh and then press tab and as a safe measure select everything press a to select everything and press m or we can go to mesh merge and then we get the same options so select by distance and you can see 151 vertices removed okay so now it is much clean and we can press e to extrude and bring this out press tab and let's change the finish let's remove the finish and we will add our own and let's give something reduce the darkness give some metallic slightly reduce the roughness and you can see we have our pattern converted into 3d okay at the moment if you notice we have some faceted effect over here how we can make this smooth okay so there are multiple ways if we select the object and right click and if we select shade smooth we get a little bit of a weird effect if you want this go ahead keep this okay but how about let's select shade flat as it was previously how about we just want the depth to become smooth as well so let's select the other option right click shade auto smooth and now you can see it is smooth and we can change the finish we can reduce the specular value or increase however you like all right so i hope you're you're getting the point how easy it is now let's make use of the tie level pattern how we can make use of it uh, let's select this and we can apply an array modifier okay so let me hide the other one now you can see how easily we can add more of it and we can play with the setting maybe we can make this 0.5 for example and wow this is such a lovely method so let me just move this back okay okay so i hope you enjoyed it and uh, this is a wonderful way to use the svg format uh, instead of png so that gives us uh, so i hope you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't give a thumbs up and see you in another video another time thank you for watching take care and bye bye and now for those who want to stay i would like to show a bad example or rather an example with a bad image rather with a pattern that has some kind of flaw that we would like to avoid in order to get desired result so i will hide this for now these two i will hide and i will import another pattern and i would like to demonstrate file import svg then browse to the location wherever it's downloaded okay here i have imported a pattern where i will try to convert this first quickly at the moment it's a curve right click convert to mesh sorry sorry let me select it properly right click convert to mesh it is converted and now just to be on a safer side, I will select everything 
and press M and then select by distance and 15 15 vertices were removed okay good now press E to extrude and then this is my extrude let's take a closer look can you see some of the problem that we can easily identify what is happening here and look at this over here okay so let me open this pattern in ink inkscape and i'll show you some of the things to avoid uh, in order to get desired result okay i'll open this in inkscape okay here it is i will zoom in and can you notice there is a gap there shouldn't be a gap if you want a proper connected mesh so as you can see these have a lot of gaps so if you have access to the designer who is working with you you can easily ask them to make adjustments or if you know how to or you're the one who's creating the pattern then you can avoid these things and have a proper connected pattern that you would like to see a desired result as you can see this needs some work so coming back to blender As you can see, we are missing this part of line and it's giving us this dotted line and that has been extruded in a weird way, which is over here. This part is missing in our mesh. But anyways, uh, work with the pattern that is complete without any gaps that shouldn't be a gap and then hopefully uh, you should get the desired result okay i will unhide the ones then you will get desired result proper solid looking mesh that can be extruded for further quick processing for whatever design you're going after all right so uh, thank you once again for watching see you in upcoming videos in the future all right take care bye bye